Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Larry Mowry. I want to update you on these storms that are off to our north and west. You can always go to our website, cbsdfw.com, to see the latest radar. But the storms are developing in a kind of an interesting environment this evening. What we have going on is that initially some of these thunderstorms developed out ahead of the cold front. And there's a difference between when storms form in the warm sector and when they move into the cold sector. When they're in the warm sector, that means the storms are out ahead of the cold front. That's when the storm can be really nasty. We get large hail, high wind, and even isolated tornadoes when those storms are still in the warmer air out ahead of the cold front. But once a storm gets undercut by cold air, and that's what's happening out to our west, a lot of the severe threats go away. In fact, the main severe weather threat here this evening and overnight tonight will be some large hail. That's because that layer of cold air that's down at the ground kind of acts to stabilize the lower levels of the atmosphere. So when that happens, you don't get the high winds from the thunderstorms, and it's virtually impossible to get a tornado too. You need warm air rising to get a tornado, but when you've got cold air at the surface, you can't get that air at the surface to rise up. However, when you get that cold pocket of air at the surface, usually means there's some colder air moving aloft too, and that can lead to some very large hail like we've seen out in Young County this evening. Stay with us here as we go through the night tonight. I'll continue to update you on the severe weather threats for North Texas and talk about that cold air coming for our Wednesday.